Hello, I'm gonna show you how to use one compact to do your whole face. No more digging through a bunch of bags to try and find what you need. Everything is all in this one compact. My whole face, all right here at my fingertips. So let's get started. It's the quickest and easiest way to do makeup. If I'm not talking while I do this, I can do this in less than five minutes. So I am right now applying setting spray with my perfector sponge i use this as a primer so currently i my face is washed i have um sunscreen on all my stuff right and then i just apply that as a primer i do a light coat over my face before i start my hack which stands for highlight and contour the first thing you're going to see me do is cover up or neutralize some of this redness I have on my face. So I suffer from rosacea, so I've been matched with a color corrector, this color right here, it's called Aspen, and I use this to neutralize the redness. I'm basically giving myself a neutral palette to work with. It's not taking the redness away, it's just neutralizing it. Give myself a good palette to work with to apply the rest of my makeup. If you see me looking beyond you, I'm just looking in the mirror beyond my phone. Um, make sure everything's blended the way it should be. Sometimes it's hard to see on these little phones. All right, so I'm just kind of going anywhere I have some redness, my cheeks, uh, got some more over here. Let's blend that in. And I'm not putting a lot of product on. It's a very light coating of this like muddy brown color that's gonna give me a good palette to work with to do my full face. And today I'm doing pretty light coverage. I'm going to just a barbecue at my family's house for Father's Day. Um, so I'll be outside. Um, it's a beautiful day. It's actually more fall-like than anything. I love it. So there, just setting what I just did with my face and then we're gonna go in and do the rest. So I'm going to take my detail brush and I'm gonna start doing contour. So the way that you do contour, we're trying to draw some shadows into the face, right? So I'm gonna dip into my contour go around my hairline, basically turn that big forehead that I have, <laughs> make it a little bit more manageable, right? We're just taking that, just applying a line. Oh, I got some hair stuck right there. I don't think my setting spray was completely dry. It's fine. All right, so you see that one line and then we're gonna do the jawline. This is gonna help hide this double chin I have. Basically just creates a nice shadow right there. So when you look straight on, it's still there, right here, double chin, but you can't see it as prominently. Pretty cool, right? I'm gonna take and do contour of the nose. So I'm just doing a very light coating down each side and across the tip. I'm gonna actually take it and apply it under my lip to give the appearance that my lip's fuller than it is. Don't worry, I'm gonna blend this all in. And then lastly, I'm going to hug my cheekbones with contour. So I'm putting this all in one layer. This makeup is creates a 3D effect, and that's because you apply it in one layer and then you do the blending process. So there we go. I'm just setting it and then I'll go ahead and apply, uh, excuse me, blend it afterwards. So next I'm going to actually take my smudge brush and I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup. So I'm dipping into my main color. I'm gonna put this all where a traditional foundation would go on your face. Kind of where a man would have a beard, any place that you wouldn't um, brighten or contour basically is gonna get this main color. So I'm just applying little dots all over okay and then i'm going to dip into my brightener shade i'm going to put that in all the places that i want to draw the light on my face so think of corner of the eyes down the nose where you have that contour cupid's bow a little bit in the forehead area i'm just seeing where i might have missed some and then another thing I'm going to do, and this is just something that personally I like to do for my own. Uh oh, I don't know where it went. So you know what? I'm going to just forget that step. Oh, it might be in here. I'm going to take some bronzer. This color is called Tan Lines, and I'm just going to dot it in with my main color. It's going to just give me a nice little warmth all over. 
Okay, perfect. And I will add lip and cheek color, but I'm gonna do it after I blend. So now it's time to blend. So we're gonna go lightest to darkest, and I'm just gonna take this brush and I'm stippling, basically like dib, dib, dib. <laughs> we're pushing the makeup in. We're actually um, not swiping. We don't wanna swipe the makeup off. We wanna put it, we wanna push it where we applied it so it stays in that one spot. So you see how this is blending? So we're going light to dark. We'll eventually blend in all this contour too. I actually do my eyes at the end, so I'll go back to those. But now I'm gonna do down my nose, get that contour blended in. We just added a little bit. Now for the contour on the jawline, we're gonna drag it down. So we're trying to create a shadow and I see how I'm red here and then dark here. I'm gonna fix this with bronzer. Just give me a moment. I just gotta get through this step, all right? Then the contour in the forehead, we're gonna push it back. See how everything kind of blends together? There's no kind of defined line where that contour ended and where the highlight began. The makeup just kind of blends effortlessly. So now I'm taking the contour on my cheeks and I don't wanna, I don't wanna swipe it away. I really just wanna kind of stamp it in. So I'm kind of flicking up and pushing in, flicking up pushing in. Okay. See? So good. All right. Now let me do my eyes real quick. So for that, the corners, I always do swipe up. We want to create the appearance of a lifted effect. So we don't look as tired as we truly are. And then for the corner, I'm just going to dip in and bring it up top on my lid. Okay. And then flip over and use the nice pointed end to get any excess. There we go. So now I'm gonna take my Perfector sponge that we've already put our setting spray on and I'm gonna go over everything I just did on my face, clean it up, make sure any excess gets picked up by the sponge. I'm not swiping it, I'm literally pushing the sponge again into my skin. So we're setting the product. I'm gonna be outside, I wanna make sure we get a nice set going. All right, so now that we're done with that, next we're gonna add bronzer and we're gonna add our lip and cheek color. So for Lip and cheek today, I'm actually, um, I'm gonna go Ruby. She's been like my favorite lately. It's this pretty, pretty pink color. So we're gonna put it on the lips. Sorry, again, looking beyond you guys because I can see you at that mirror. So this is like a satin, like, um, finish so I'm actually going to add sunshine state to the mix too which is going to give me a little gloss and shine okay now let's add her to the cheekies I go higher up on my cheeks because I have chubby cheeks already so I don't need to add or draw any um any more kind of notice to the apples of my cheeks. So you see that goes right above the contour. I'm just blending that in now. I go up high with my blush. Again, I don't want it on the apples of my cheeks because they're already uh, chubby enough. I don't need to draw anything. So see that? We got the nice kind of pink. And then the last thing that we're gonna do is actually take our bronzer and we're gonna tie this all together. So I'm gonna dip into, this is Bella and this is Glow. I'm gonna swirl the two together and kind of create just a sun-kissed finish to this whole look. So I'm doing a little C around my eyes. You wanna put bronzer on the high point. So think apples are your cheeks, your chin, your nose area, and then I drag my bronzer down my neck. And the reason I do that is because I have kind of this floating head. <laughs> my neck, the chest is really red because I suffer from rosacea. And then I've just done my makeup. So my skin on my face is a little bit darker. So we wanna make sure we blend that all together. So just dipping into my bronzer and dragging it down my chest. Perfect. That's it, we are done. So this took about 10 minutes because I was chit-chatting away, but normally we can get this done in five minutes without talking or explanation. So 
So there you have it. Nice, quick, one compact makeup, ready to go and out the door in 10 minutes. Less if you keep your mouth shut. I'm a chatty Kathy. Thanks so much for joining me.